Among the freshers hosting the ODI World Cup in India is the city of Dharamshala. The city, the venue, everyone wants to be at. From the breathtaking views of the Dholadhar Himalayan range right behind the cricket stadium to the international heritage markets in McLeod Ganj, allow the Indian Express to take you through the scenic routes and the culture of the hill city and its nearby vicinities on your way to the cricket in our special segment, Expressway to the World Cup in Dharamshala. While most World Cup host cities in 2023 won't give you time to just sit around and relax, in Dharamshala it's a little different. Here we are sitting in the tea gardens, the only tea garden in northern India, which is in the Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. It's nearby the Kunal Patri temple, one of the first places you can visit when you come to Dharamshala. And with this sort of atmosphere, with this fragrance, and with not that many people around, all you can do is sit and admire the natural aesthetic sense of this city. To get to our next destination, one can hop into the Shehensha of mountain paths, the alto cabs that are easily available on the roads of Tharamshala, or keep their feet off the ground, which is quite easy, quite literally and metaphorically up here. Now a couple things that you do need to remember once you visit Dharamshala for watching cricket is that not all the available options as far as staying is concerned will be in Dharamshala. It's a small town. Most of the living options will be in McLaurin, so you're going to have to travel from here to Dharamshala and no better place to find a lot of suitable options than in McLaurin Shop, which is right here where we are standing. And as you can see around me, there are a lot of places to eat and stay and make your visit even more so than memorable. Next up, one of the most famous and peaceful places to visit when in McLeod Ganj, 5 kilometers upwards from the city of Dharamshala. Synonymous with peace is the Namyal Monastery in McLeod Ganj. Synonymous with Dharamshala and its entire vibe is this place which is the personal monastery of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. Now, while he has been interacting with a lot of cricketers who have come to the town for the matches over the past, you can also do the same by applying your request coming to here and finding some solace in between your busy schedule that can also consist of things as vastly different as watching cricket to sitting here for over three to four hours as just we have now to breathe in the fresh air in the mountains. Monastery, which is a big attraction for the tourists who arrive, given its key role to assist with rituals involving the Dalai Lama of Tibet, hosts several Tibetan and Bhutanese internationals and their families who have migrated to India since His Holiness's defection to Dharamshala. Initially, he came to uh, Arunachal site, right? Then he was given a place at Masuri. That was in 1959. Uh, and from 1959 to 1964, one year he stayed in Masuri. And since uh, Masuri becomes a border to Tibet, and there are border issues and also some other issues. That's why from the Indian government, it was said that you should look for some other place. And they also suggested Dharamsala, Magro country. So one of uh, delegates from among the Tibetan group, he was sent to Magro country to and look around the place and location since then so it was after one year in Masuri he moved to Dharamsala Stepping 
outside of the monastery, one can explore a culturally diverse market, one that's breathing a new life with the arrival of the World Cup caravan to make up for the past two, three months that saw torrential rains and record low numbers in tourism. Whether it's the old German bakery or the Israeli cuisine speciality Maya Cafe. See, we have bakery around 41 years, restaurant around 23 years. It's still going on like, you know, like this. Many people already, they know. Jo bhi monsoon mein jo hua na, kaafi loss hai na. So, as a business, you have to say, Indian market will be free. Okay? As a humara thoda fun ho hai, to us bachi se thoda humara thik hai, okay? Indian market, you keep it fully down here. So, we have to say, we have to say, we have to say, we have to say, from here and just before we get to our final destination a particular favorite point for those who are all in for trekking and the views after a tedious little trek on our way to this point in McLeod Gulch, which in itself was a journey courtesy of our producer. Here we stand at the entrance point of what is the trine trek, one of the easiest in the Himalayas to complete on your way. It takes approximately four to six hours to cover the nine kilometers of this particular trek, so you can do it within a single day of your stay here, which is when the cricketing happened. So, yeah. And with some of Cricket's finest coats in the town, you're assured to find a few more around here. Nestled around the mighty Himalayan Dholadhar range is the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamshala. Now, whilst the association itself was granted affiliation by the BCCI in 1984, it wasn't until 2013 that this venue hosted an international game. That has changed a lot, but even before it hosted an international match, it did host and was home to a couple of IPL bangers, one of which you will remember from the 2010 season when MS Dhoni famously bailed out Chennai Super Kings all the way to the semi-finals and then they won the title. Now it was on that night that Harsha Bhogle famously quoted that one of his shots, one of his maximums, looked like as if it was headed towards the night sky like a meteorite. While this stadium is hosting the World Cup for the first time this year, the ODI World Cup for the first time this year. It has been the apple of the eye of the cricketing fans from around the world for some time now. Come October, when it hosts five of the games in the upcoming World Cup, we'll see you at the cricket.